recently we had the opportunity to do something really cool, to share a little bit of history about the Liberator pistol and even had the opportunity to live fire it. Of course, we didn't want to do something that interesting and not, and not video and not bring you along, so we, we uploaded a short video with the Liberator pistol. Now, a lot of people had commented, since the barrel doesn't have any rifling, they asked, you asked, how accurate could it be? Today, we've got some high-speed video footage of a bullet leaving a Liberator pistol. This footage was provided to us from a longtime friend, one of the former uh, proprietors of Gemtech, uh, the silencer company. And uh, when he saw our video on the Liberator, he thought maybe this would be information that we'd like to look at and review too. And uh, Phil, you couldn't have been more correct. This is fantastic. Let's take a peek at the video and break it down. This was shot at 100,000 frames per second, and it's not a very long clip. But if we look at it, there's a lot of information here. One of the first things I noticed is the pressure curve. You can actually see the pressure wave, and you can see it best in the shadow below the pistol. You can see the pressure wave leaving the pistol and then leaving the screen, the frame, before the bullet actually gets even close to that. Let's take a peek at that pressure wave. But there's something else happening here that's equally as interesting as the pressure wave to me. The bullet is starting to yaw upwards as it leaves. The further away it gets, the, the more tilted up it seems to be, as though the base is already starting to roll. Let's run it uh, full speed a couple times, and then let's start slowing it down and see maybe if it's a little bit more obvious as the frames get slower. I don't think anybody thought that this was going to be a super accurate pistol. For a matter of fact, we, we made mention that it wasn't going to be in the first video, and a lot of you in the comments, I mean, picked up on that immediately too. But it's really cool to not just have that as a theory, but to actually be able to visualize it and uh, have some footage of this, this projectile flying slow enough so we can actually see what it's doing. How awesome is that? So I hope you enjoyed this, this quick follow-up to the, to the short Liberator Pistol series that we're working on. If you did, please click like, share us with your friends in your vast social media universe, subscribe to the channel if you don't already, both on YouTube and on Full30, and make sure that you hit notify so you learn when we upload a video. You can visit us over on Patreon to see a little bit of what's happening behind the scenes there. And if you just like to talk guns, Probably Facebook's the best place to do that at facebook.com slash guntestvids. Till next time, have fun and be safe.